Okay, everybody, welcome to MTA. If you're new here, make sure y'all go ahead and check out some more of my content. Um, I got a whole bunch of different videos of me fishing and things I do in my life. But today is a new episode on MTA where we went fishing with TJ for the past two days. Um, the first day we was fishing off of the bank. I caught uh, about eight bass give or take and um the second day we ended up taking the kayaks out to the same location but uh we're out here at this blue lagoon type uh fishing pond uh lure that i was throwing for the majority of the second day was this uh bull shad it's a bluegill pattern colored bull shad i was running it along the top of the water causing a lot of commotion but I was looking for some big bass. Um, we found a whole bunch of decent sized bass in the midst of kayaking and just walking around the pond. So it's going to be a video of that. And um, yeah, just stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're not already and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Got one. Yes, sir. Large mouth off the wacky rig. He swallowed that. I gotta go get some pliers. Hopefully I got some. For real? All right, don't play like that. This a better one. Skin hook. For real? Any way you can call it for me? All right, welcome back to MTA. As you can tell, we're pulling the kayak behind us, coming down this long little trail. I'm here with TJ, he up ahead, kind of watching him while he's pulling it. But we finna walk to this pond. It's all about 70 years old. We caught some, well I caught maybe like eight, eight bass off of the bank. But being that, being that the bank doesn't have a lot of access to it. It's really more of a kayaking boat type pond. Now, there's some gators in here. We seen a five foot gator the other day. And uh, apparently there's some bigger than that, twice the size. So we're gonna be careful while we're out here. Try to smash some of these big large mouth bass on variety, different varieties of baits. Then there's another pond that uh, apparently got crappy in it. I want to go try that one out and see if anything will work for us like that. But I'm going to catch y'all out there. It's going to be a little walk, about another five, 10 minutes. So I'll see y'all when we get to the uh, bank. <sighs> as far as I can help you, bro. But it's a shitty ass boat ramp. It fed that log in the way. Got him.
Like a decent one the way you pulling. Go around you and fish them pillars. Oh, I see some fish out there doing something. Oh, bass chasing it. It was chasing it. No. Got him. Off the bullshit. Oh, yeah. Chase the wrong blue gill in the day, buddy. Nice little one pounder. Get them back. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yes, sir. I like that fight. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Nice yep, appreciate it. A chatterbait or a frog? Let's see. Huh? I like a frog. You see it? It's a chatter or a swim bait. Oh, it's a jig. Yeah. Yeah. Some big ass tree stumps down here, boy. This looked like it'd be a place for a 10 pounder, but I don't know. You said we're coming at the wrong time? Got one.
pretty fit. Good? No, we almost doubled up. There's bass everywhere over here. Oh, there's a bass right here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna conclude today's fishing journey with TJ on the kayaks. Caught roughly about four to five bass. They um cookie cutters, usually between one and two and a half pounds. We have yet to seen a big one, like a huge one out here yet. But there's deep pockets in this uh pond. We gotta come back maybe around springtime, uh, bedding season, to see if we can find those big mamas out here. It's a nice uh, place. We've seen a whole bunch of laydowns and different uh, areas for these fish to hide. But we're gonna call it a day, and uh, thank y'all for viewing MTA. Catch y'all next time. You know the first rule of combat. We was on there. We go on now. We go have seed.